Greetings all, it's the Devious Monkey here, and it's way the hell too nice to be sitting inside doing any work. So I decided to go outside and go for a bit of a walk in nature. It's, it's typical. I kind of didn't feel like doing anything today, and although I've been sitting inside all day, I couldn't take it anymore, and I had to return something. What did I return? I returned the Master Eye controller. Why, you say? And why is my melon the only part of this that's in frame? because I put my 40 millimeter F2.5 lens on, that's why. All right, I think for the sake of you not having to stare at my melon fill up the screen the entire time, I'm gonna throw in some B-roll of me walking around here because the sights here are better looking than me. I decided to return the Master Eye controller. I played with it a lot last night, giggity, and decided that it wasn't really doing what I wanted to do. I still haven't figured if that's because it's the A7C or if it's something else entirely. But here's the bottom line. When I couldn't get the app, the ZY Play app, to work correctly with the gimbal, and it kept disconnecting, so I couldn't track myself from a distance, and I had to like put it in selfie mode, do it, and then go out and walk around and do everything, I decided that, okay, maybe I should get the Master Eye controller. It looks pretty cool anyways. So I went ahead and got it. Then when I got it, and I couldn't control the camera at all, like none of the buttons worked at all. And I thought to myself, okay, well this sucks. Well, I found out that the reason that that was is because of the way the camera set up. And the camera, you have to actually go into the menu and put the camera into the PC remote configuration, whatever. Basically you have to put the, turn on the PC remote in order for the master eye controller to then be able to control all those little buttons at the bottom. So like the aperture, the shutter speed, the ISO and all that kind of stuff. So you had to actually put it into that PC remote. But when you put it into PC remote, it removed the screen from the gimbal and the master eye controller. So you couldn't see what you were doing. All you could do was change the settings and push the record button and it would start recording. It did turn the camera on, but you couldn't see what the hell you were recording because it turned the screens off. And then the only way to get the screens to come back on was to then stop the recording, go back into the menu, and turn off PC remote. Then it brought up the screens and everything, and you could do tracking and all that bullshit, but then you couldn't control the camera. So that seemed to me to be kind of counterproductive to why I got the damn thing. So I kept playing a little bit more. I was looking at all the different cables that came with it. Now the cable, that might have allowed it to be easier to do all that shit would have been the USB-C to the multi-USB cable, which is basically the like the, the micro cable. But the A7C doesn't have that, it has a USB-C. So I had to use the USB-C to USB-C cable. And I don't get it. I look online and I can't find anything that's on there for the Weeble 2 or the, the newest configuration of stuff. Everything is from a year older. It's all about the Weeble S or the cranes or anything like that. There's just not a lot of stuff out there. Now keep in mind, that's the kind of shit that drives me crazy. And that's part of the reason why I do videos like I do because I can't find the information. So I end up going out and buying all this shit myself, trying it, figuring it out and making a video about it. So let me just tell you right now, if you're gonna use the Weeble 2 with the transmitter AI, the correct one, and you're going to use it with a Sony A7C. You will not be able to do everything that you're reading about online, either with the ZY Play app or with the Master Eye controller. It's an either or kind of a thing. And you can either take it or you can leave it. I decided to leave it. So last night I hit the return thing for Amazon and today I, I literally just got back from dropping it off. Now, the other thing that I found out was that because I found that connecting the ZY Play app to the transmitter AI rather than the gimbal allowed me to do all the shit that I wanted to do, I continued to test that last night as well. And I can do everything with the ZY Play app now that I could do with the Master Eye controller. So it seemed kind of pointless to spend $370 on something that I could already do with shit that I already had. So that's why ultimately I decided to get rid of it and send it back. Now, the other thing that I found today is the same thing as the Master Eye controller, and that's that you have an either or. You can either 
put it in a PC remote and control the camera with the app, but have no screen and not see what the hell you're doing on either the phone or the, uh, the gimbal screen, or you could shut PC remote off and you could see everything and do everything else, but you could not control the camera at all. Now, I haven't been controlling the camera with anything other than my fingers anyways, so it's not a great loss. It's a disappointment. I would like to be able to do that shit, but you know, I saw somebody make a smart ass comment when somebody else mentioned that and they're like, dude, just push record and then run back and do what you gotta do and cut it in editing. Not the most helpful comment, but it's a realistic comment because that's what you gotta do. If you wanna be able to use the A7C with the Weeble 2 and the ZY Play app, you're gonna have to do some workarounds and you're gonna have to deal with the limitations that you're given and that's that you're gonna have to push record and then run and do all the shit that you wanna do and go from there. Now, I have been able to continue testing this morning with the ZY Play app and, and the whole setup with the gimbal with the AI transmitter. And that's, I thought to myself, okay, I know you can do everything with the phone connected to the transmitter AI, let me go back and try to hook back up to the gimbal and see if that makes a difference. Because everybody was connecting to the gimbal everywhere that I looked online. And basically, I was able still to connect to the gimbal, but this time it didn't disconnect every 30 to 45 seconds. Now nothing's changed. Absolutely nothing's changed. There's been no firmware updates that I've done. There's been no change of cabling. There's been no change of anything. It just all of a sudden started working. So now I connected it up and I was able to walk around my studio and my office doing everything and having it track me and you know using the app to draw the, the box around my melon and everything worked just fine. And I didn't have a problem and it didn't disconnect at all. And I was able to disconnect it, re-center like, the gimbal, redraw the box around my melon, do everything, get in and out of the app, go back into it, do it all over again, and it all worked just fine. Now, riddle me this, Batman. What the frick? Like, how the hell did it all of a sudden start working when it didn't work before? I don't know, and I don't care. The fact is that it works. Are you making a video? Yes, I am. Uh, a YouTube video? Yes, I am. Oh, wow. <laughs> there you go. Hello, people on YouTube. <laughs> what are you up to? Oh, I'm just walking around, enjoying nature. Also, I'm here to get some fresh air. That's exactly what I'm here to do. Okay, so, I, you know me. I totally dig it when people approach me when I'm out. So that was fun. So I used my little card. I tapped him on my info. Hopefully he'll check stuff out and he'll enjoy it. Back to what I was saying. And that's that I can now do what I wanted to do with the Weeble 2, which is why I bought all that shit. And I can do it now with the ZY Play app connected either to the gimbal or connected to the transmitter AI. Don't know why it's working with the gimbal now and it didn't before since nothing's changed, but I'll take it as a win. And I know that even if I can't do it with the gimbal, now I know I can do it with the transmitter. So there's always a fail safe. Can't have my cake and eat it too though, because I can either control the camera, but not see anything on the screens, or I can see everything on the screens and I can't control the camera. Now for the most part, like today, you'll see shit's changing all the time. I'm looking at the screen. Yankee Cowboy, yes, he likes to bust my balls all the time. You know, I was saying how everything was blown out. That's because I was in a manual setting and I was walking around purposely so that you were looking into the sun and, and then I was like blown out because I was having the sun come towards me. Today, I have it on shutter priority and I'm letting the camera deal with all that shit. It is gonna be a little bit more jiggly because I have this 40 millimeter lens on here and I have to hold my arm out all the way and that's still just getting my melon in the screen. So it, it's going to be, ah, it's gonna be jiggle vision and not the good kind. So that's that. What I could do is if, if I found a decent branch or something, I could set it down with this mantis pod and get it going. But what I really need to do is not fall on my ass because these freaking pine needles are so slippery. The gist of today's video, I'm returning the Master Eye controller. In theory, it's a very cool tool. Cool tool, giggity. And it might work for people that are doing specific projects and that's great but i can do everything that i need to do now with the phone so i don't need to spend the extra 370 bucks to do that so that's why i returned it 
And I don't have any regrets on that. I think it's the first time I've ever returned something that I've gotten from Amazon. I, I don't often return stuff. I mean, unless it's broken or something like that, um, you know, and I'm exchanging it. But this is the first time I've ever got something, just decided that I didn't want it, and I returned it. First for everything. I'll try not to make it a habit. Okay, that's pretty much all I've got. Like the guy that I just talked to, I'm just out here to get some fresh air, get a little nature in, not be sitting in my office. I do need to go home though and do some work. So I need to go do that now. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, leave them in the, you know, the comment section down below. As always, thank you for joining me. Be sure to like and subscribe. And remember kids, forward and up.